Hey, what's up? Alex here. Finally, it's time for my entertainment room setup tour video. After getting hold of my PlayStation 5 about 4 months ago, I've been planning and working to convert my spare HDB common room into like a gaming entertainment room. I mean, since I have no other plans for this room, why not? So what I intend to do in this room is of course gaming. Then I think it's also nice that together with my other half, we can have some serious movie time in a nice and dark room. Then the next EPL season is also going to start soon, so I also plan to watch those football matches here. Basically, I want to spend lesser time in my study room, which I did a tour video for that a couple of weeks ago, and kind of fully utilize the space I have in this house. Let's start off with the TV first, the most expensive item in this room. If you have followed my YouTube stories, you will know that I have gotten the LG OLED CX TV 2020 model. I always like to get a previous year model because of how much the price of the older model drops whenever the new model releases. I think that's the most value for money. For me, it's always going to be either the LG OLED or the latest Samsung Mini LED technology. Generally, you will choose a QLED for better brightness, especially in the living room. For this room, since I can make it almost blackout, I decide to go with the OLED. I don't really care or follow the guidelines for the viewing distance to the size of the TV. For me, I just want the immersive feeling and this 65 inch does an absolutely good job. I mean, I wouldn't even mind the 77 inch if I have the budget. No regrets getting the OLED so far. 1 millisecond response time, 120Hz, HDMI 2.1 and supports VRR makes the gameplay so smooth. Motion handling technology to reduce that motion blur, 4K with HDR, supports Google Home, basically that's all I want. This TV is also probably the most highly reviewed and recommended for next-gen console. LG has the G-series model that is able to flush so nicely with the wall, leaving almost no gap. But I'm not considering that it's because I love having RGB light strip behind the TV. This is not a normal light strip that can only do a single static light. This light strip can actually keep changing lights synchronized with the color display on your TV. This is the Govi TV light strip and it's a much cheaper alternative to the solution from Philips Hue. Apart from these two companies, I don't think there is any other products that can sync with your TV display. How the Govi TV light work is it comes with this camera that you need to attach to the middle top or bottom, up to you. The camera then captures the color tone real time and change the color at the different zones of the light strip. Initially, I'm not sure whether I will be okay to have that camera sticking out there, but after trying out, I can say I absolutely love it. It gives another level of immersion for me, quite impressed with this. Since I mount the TV directly to the wall without building a feature wall, the best you can do is probably use a cable trunking and stick it at the bottom connecting to your TV console. This costs only like about $2, you can buy from any hardware shop, and you can make the TV area look much neater without seeing any cables. That is also the reason why I don't like to get those electrical power bar because they tend to expose everything. If you like to use the TV stand instead, they usually come with some features for cable management. So for my cables, it goes straight down this way and into a hole at the back of the TV console. Talking about the TV console, I got this from Taobao. I want something small and simple since I don't really have anything to keep inside. Also with sufficient height allowance for my robot vacuum. Walnut color and round edges come in 3 drawers with soft clothes. Drawer internal comes with laminate as well which is very nice. Let's see what do I have here sitting on the TV console. First of all is my PlayStation icon lights. The more common one you see is the one with all 4 icons side by side. But I prefer this one as I find it's more suitable for this placement. I will switch it on whenever I'm gaming and it really looks good setting that gaming mood to the room. Then to the left is the PlayStation 5 itself. PlayStation is actually the only console I'm interested with over these years. Xbox, Nintendo Switch or those VR games are just not for me. I will also probably stop PC gaming as well and move to pure console gaming because playing games on such a big OLED TV is just so good, really enjoying that. The PS5 is still out of stock on the waiting list if you are trying to buy one so I am actually quite lucky to get my hands on one pretty early. I choose to put the PS5 flat this way instead of standing is because I want to try and hide the power sockets here. Then beside is my charging dock for the controllers. I got this from Taobao as well, clean and slick design. Over here I have my favorite Final Fantasy Dragoon figurine. At the back I use this space to put my Samsung SmartThings hub, then the SwitchBot hub mini to control my AC and TV. Lastly also my Wi-Fi mesh satellite node here that provides wired connection to all the devices here, my TV, PS5 and SmartThings hub. Alright now let's move to the right and cover the other side of the room. 
So this is the built-in wardrobe which is here since day one. I did not want to tear this down because I want to keep this room flexible if I want to turn this into a bedroom in the future. So I basically keep my YouTube stuff here, just very simple and basic equipment. Then I also have my smart home related products all kept here as well. I also do my ironing here in this room with the space over here. Reason is because this is a smaller room so once I switch on my aircon, it gets cold much faster and I can also watch some shows at the same time. Beside this standard HDB unhackable pillar, I put this standing lamp. This is the Govi Lyra which I covered before in one of my videos. So this is actually my main source of lighting in this room which can be really very bright when turned to the max brightness. I do have a normal downlight here installed but I hardly ever switch that on. Definitely you will want to sit on a nice comfortable sofa opposite the TV, although sometimes I do sit on the carpet floor. This two seater sofa has exactly the same material as my living room one. It's called leather air, in Chinese it's called ke ji bu. I still highly recommend this material. It is a fabric that is designed to breathe better than the other fake leather material. Easy to maintain and can last very long, we love it a lot. That's why we buy this again, but this time with a different color and a different design. For this, you can adjust the backrest further back or shift it front depending on how you like to sit. Very flexible. So of course, I get this from Taobao as well. I didn't know the sofa comes created with these wooden planks. Usually the sellers will include this for big fragile items. And luckily, these cool guys came over to my rescue on the same day. They have helped me many times, so I just want to give them a shout out. So if you need help like uncreating furniture assembly, or just any mover services can look for these awesome guys. I link their contact number in the description below. Okay, now for the very last item I like to share in the room is this nano leaf shapes that I got from Sing by District. They have triangle shapes as well, but I prefer the hexagon ones because I think they suit the theme of the house more. So you can actually mix and match if you like both. So the power of these nano leaf light panels is that they can really transform a piece of a very bland wall to something interesting and cool looking space. And having them at this side of the wall, every time when I walk past the room, I can see them easily which really adds some sparks and gaming vibe to the room. It's up to your creativity how you like to arrange and stick them to the wall. And also how the light flows, the colors, customizing the scene to whichever way you like. When you touch the panels, the light will change. Kids will probably love this a lot. Nano Leaf is not cheap, you are paying a premium price but they really deliver very high quality products which you will feel is worth it once you decided to spend that kind of money. So you can see, I really like to play with all these different kind of essence lighting to make the place look more interesting. I have plans to move the Nano Leaf elsewhere and hang pictures or drawing there instead because you will see the lights in the TV reflection. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. Hope you like this video and maybe give you some ideas if you are planning to do something like this as well. I'll put the links for all the items mentioned in the description down below if you'd like to check that out. That's all from me, see you in the next one. Bye!